Kovacic. My guest is the relatively new Republican Party chairman, A.J. Ferrati. Good to see you, A.J. Yeah, it's wonderful to be with you. Thank you. I saw a story with Alex Cameron back in June to let people know exactly who you are. You had a case in front of the United States Supreme Court dealing with a coach praying on the field. Tell us about A.J. Ferrati, that case, real quick. You know, I, I'm a guy that grew up in Bremerton, Washington, played high school football, like many of the people watching this morning. Um, I found out about a coach at the high school that was going to be told that he was fired for praying. Uh, he just wanted to take a 10, 15 second prayer after games. And uh, I knew uh, another coach of his, a friend of mine. He said, you know, why don't you, you know, why don't you see if you can give him a hand? And, you know, I did. And seven years later, uh, we took that up through the district court in Washington State to the Ninth Circuit. Many of your viewers know the Ninth Circuit's not right. real friendly to, to right. prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took it up to the Supreme Court a couple of times, and on the second time, we, we got our shot and we, we won. And, and uh, really, it's, it's very simple, is you don't have to pretend to be an atheist. Uh, if you're a football coach, if you're a public employee in any way, you can profess your faith as, as your faith provides. And you won that case. We um, won that case 6-3. Uh, All right, now you're Republican Party chairman, and a lot of people say to me, well, what is a Republican? And a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I was looking at Twitter, and you responded to Mayor Holt on a, uh, on a tweet, and basically you said, the election wasn't stolen. So uh, a lot of people are wondering, what is a Republican? Do all Republicans believe the election was stolen? But you weighed in pretty heavy on that. So tell us what you meant by that tweet and what message you're sending. So let me first talk about Georgia. Let's go back to the beginning of 2021. And in Georgia, we had this belief after the 2020 election that the election was stolen and it was said over and over and over again. Now, we are usually do as a party in the January elections in Georgia very, very well. We dropped over 300,000 votes from where we were, mostly in Republican areas of, of the state. And if we had retained the traditional votes that we received in that state, we would not have had the tax increases in the 87,000 IRS agents approved earlier this week by the House and by the Senate. We would have actually had Republicans principled in their standing up against Joe Biden. That's what happens when you tell people to stay home. That's what happens when you tell people that elections are stolen. I've got to look forward to Republican elections in 2022 and 2024. And if we continue to have this goofy conversation about elections being stolen, we aren't going to fix it going forward. You, you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Okay, let's talk about Oklahoma for just a minute. There is a, a special session ongoing. There's a disagreement between the House and the Senate about tax cuts. Should Oklahomans get a tax cut? Are Republicans for that? Republicans have always historically been for fiscal responsibility and tax cuts. Now, what does that mean? We have a $3 billion surplus in the state in our rainy day fund. Best ever, never had one that high and outnumbers a lot of states around the country. Uh, at the same time, I think that we need to continue to grow that. But at the same time, if we can find appropriate places to place tax cuts, we can give relief to Oklahomans, we should be doing that as well. One place should be the grocery tax. That's something that we've bannered around. I'm floored that we even have a grocery tax in the state of Oklahoma. That needs to be eliminated. We need to give relief to people who are just trying to feed their families. We've got about uh, 45 seconds. Tell me what your vision for the Republican Party is moving forward. You know, I think that we need to recognize we're the 11th fastest growing state since COVID in the United States. And so we need to make sure that we are looking at how we message to everybody. I can't just a message to the Lee Creek Assemblies of God. I've got a message to everybody, new people coming into this state and provide a message that is digestible by everybody that stands firm to our conservative principles. AJ Ferrati is the new Republican Party chairman. Thanks for being in yeah. today. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. See this again at news9.com slash your vote counts and follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks.